In this video will teach you how to solve the V-cube 7 with um, only some beginner experience with the Rubik's Cube. First I'll go over some terminology and then I'll start teaching you how to actually solve the thing. Um, so there are obviously a lot of pieces on this and to remove any ambiguity in my explanation um, I'm going to give each piece a unique name. So we'll start with the centers. These, this green piece right here is the center. Um, there are six centers, and it turns out that the centers never move. So um, uh, each face of the V-cube will be, when it's solved, it will be the color of the center. So this, uh, this face will be green, because this center is green. Um, next, going out from the center, we have uh, a center inner edge piece, and we have a center inner corner piece. So these are inner pieces, inner center pieces. Um, and then we have uh, outer center edge and outer center corner. And lastly, uh, there are center wing pieces. There are eight center wing pieces on each face. Um, and those are all the center pieces. Each center piece has only one sticker. And here are our edge pieces right here. We have our regular edge piece. We have our inner wing edge piece, inner wing edge, and we have our outer wing edge piece. And lastly, we have our eight corners on the cube. These are all corners out here. And so that's just all the names of the pieces. I'm gonna be teaching you an unconventional method for the V-Cube 7. In this method, you'll be first solving um, a large block of the cube directly, and then you'll solve the rest of it through reduction method. It's a kind of hybrid method that I devised by myself. So the first step of my little method is to solve just one center. I like to solve the black center first. Um, the way you do this is you solve it in rows. So I like to do the center row first, the one that has the center piece in, in it. And what you do is basically you find a piece that you want to be in the center row. So I want this piece to be in there right here. So this piece, this inner center edge piece will go here. So I just turn it up and it's in this row right here. And you keep doing that until your rows are complete. I have an outer center edge piece here and here, so I can simply turn them up and up. So we have our first row complete in the center. Um, you continue doing that, you find partially completed rows. For instance, this row is partially complete. We only need three pieces here. Um, then you find the corresponding pieces which go there, and you join them together. So this uh, center wing piece goes here, and this wing piece, we just have to align it, so it will go here, and then we turn the face, so it's now in the row. And now we only need an inner center edge piece to go here, there's one here, we align it, and we put it where it has to go. Now we have one complete row, and all we have to do is put it on the black side. So we turn this row so it's vertical, and then we join the two rows together, like that. I'll keep doing this just to show some more examples. I'm going to start with this, this row right here. We put this outer corner center piece right here, and we look for a wing edge piece. This one, just as a note, there are two kinds of wing edge pieces. There's the kind that goes here and the kind that goes here, and they're actually different kinds of pieces. So don't get those two mixed up. You'll know what I mean when you solve. Uh, I need this center uh, outer corner piece, and there's one up here, so I'll just bring it down, and I'll turn this to align it. And when I turn this bottom slice, the uh, corner center outer piece is now here. And we'll just it with the rest of these rows on top. Um, there's already two in this row down up here, so I'll just bring it down and uh, 
this inner center edge piece, I'll line it so I can put it in our work in progress row, like that. And I need some inner center corner pieces. Uh, there's one on the bottom here. So if there's one on the bottom, you just have to align it um, under an empty row and then sort of bring it up. And, oops, we put a row on the bottom, so we have to bring that back up. By the way, the V-Cube's a really nice puzzle. I would recommend getting it. I got it this one recently. Okay, so now we just turn this around. Now our inner center corner piece is in our row. Now we're looking for the last one that has to go there. It's on top, so we'll bring it down. Let's see. And whenever you bring something down, you have to make sure <coughs> that it isn't uh, moving your row around that you're trying to build. Okay. So let's see here. There we go. So we have our fourth row built. We'll align this empty space here so that we can just plop it in place. And we only have one more to build. Let's see. So I'm just looking for any pieces that are already in a row because you want to take advantage of that. So here's two pieces in a row. And put our next piece here. This piece, we have to align it. And we have to put it here. And we need our outer, outer center edge, which is on the bottom. This one's kind of tricky. Bring it up. And then we have to uh, put it right here. So here's our row. We align our empty space right here. And we put it on top. And that's our first center. That's what it should look like when it's done. Okay, so now that our first center is done, we're going to continue making rows, except we're going to do them slightly differently. Because our goal for the next step is to um, make this center, this red center, oh, it doesn't matter, but any of the centers adjacent to that black center. And we also want to make the uh, included edge conglomerate, these five edge pieces between the center and the black center. Uh, so I see there are already three pieces lined up here, and there's two corresponding outer edge pieces. Just align these two. So we're gonna put th this piece here and this red piece here, just by turning down. But when, we've done, when we do that, we in the process mess up the black centers, so we have to turn um, this vertically so we can move these rows back like that. Uh, so we have our first row here but that is not enough because we also need to include um, an edge piece that goes between here and here. So we see this regular edge piece we can match it up here with our row and then we can just turn it down to put it into place like that. So now we leave that and we'll continue building another row. Uh, I'm going to try building this one. So uh, let's see here. I see some wings down here that look nice. I'll bring this up here. And see we've brought this black row up so we just put it back down. Now we have three in this row. Um, I'll bring this corner piece. Corner, inner corner, eh. inner center corner piece up into the row, and now we need inner center edge piece. There's uh, one here on top, so I'll just bring it down, and then turn the top around, and then bring it back up. Now we have this. Now we simply. Uh, attach an edge piece right here with a red and black sticker on it. So we see this piece we can put right here. Um, you just have to fiddle around with it and see what works. So I just put it there. And now we have our um, completed row with an edge piece on the side. 